Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Uma Edi. So today, I'm in this river. So I want us to have a story a bit. Kidogo. Uh, here is my friend, Kennedy. Ken, introduce yourself to me. Hi guys, mm. my name is Ken. Mm. I also have a YouTube channel. Okay. I'm uh, Kenna Pali YouTube, mm. and search. Mm. Ken, in capital letters, mm. underscore K-E. -E. Mm. So guys, uh, for sometimes now I've been I've been going to different farms, and uh, mostly most of the poultry farming. <laughs> so I've been uh, I was saying uh, I've been going to different farms, and uh, these are the things that uh, I've noticed uh, about poultry farming. For anybody, for somebody who wants to start poultry farming. So these are few things that the few observation, observations that I've made that I want to share with you guys, so that uh, uh, I can say that I, I may not have much experience uh, since uh, I'm not yet running a poultry farm. But these are observations I've made uh, concerning poultry farming that I want to share with you guys. So. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Oma Eddie. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, watch the video till the end, and uh, hope we enjoy it together, guys. So, mm, I'm uh, here with my friend also, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, so, we want to have a chat, a bit, a little bit of chatting, and uh, we are gonna get together. So, so here is my friend, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy, can you introduce yourself? Hello, guys. <laughs> my name is uh, Ken. Mm. Eddie's friend. Yeah. I also have a YouTube channel. Mm. Uh, go and search Ken, capital letters, mm. underscore KE. Mm. Please, please show support. Subscribe to, to, the, to, 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 to that channel. And we grow together, guys. Mm. Thank you. So Ken has a new channel, uh, so guys you can also go there and uh, support him uh, on his channel and make sure that you subscribe there, leave a comment on his uh, channel there and uh, let's it support one another, yes, let's support one another, let's grow together uh, on this journey guys. So Ken, have you, have you had an experience with a poultry farm? Just a little one. Eh? Mm. I have no experience, but this is a... So, uh, I've done a small scale uh, farming mm -hmm. poultry, mm -hmm. just a few chicken and uh, around 20, 30. Mm -hmm. Now, there's something that I know. So, mostly, kuna have a fuga kuku, they have a fuga kuku, they have a fuga kuku, they have a fuga then they have a fuga kuku, they have a fuga kuku, and then you're just feeding them. Yeah, you're just that, feeding them from the enclosed area. Yeah. Yeah, so, so most of the is of the enclosed area mm. you have to you, you have to you have to work hard because when you are processing such a kula ni akuta food so that a bidu mena kwa grow it actually guys we in we in we in water makwa ni county yes over there is the town guys yeah. mm. so um, Mm. 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 it is good at least even at the same on the river at the magic we still do farming at least mm. because of the water mm. farming no one can when you come on a fuga zuku because in the enclosed you can farming you are minding you can end up with siaga so you just go to a portion mill mm. in a siaga mm. and then you can end up with agrovet you can end up with an unwa come on here layers mash and stuff you can end up with an unwa and then you can mix you can end up with uli 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 fanya uli fanya farming at least you can end up with siaga it helps you at least in a boost the upata chakula ya iso kukuze nyani and closed and closed this is zile za kuachilia yeah so how do you compare them with the zile za kuachilia which one is more expensive Zile za kufuga in an enclosed place is a series. I just don't want to lie. It is not easy for someone who can answer. Maybe come on, enough capital, and then you want to start. Zile za kufugia, and then you want maybe like a hundred chicken. It is not easy to maintain, especially if you are not working. But come on, if you are working, you can do that. Even if you are not working, when I decide to answer, to maybe ten or twenty, because zinakula. Who could zinakula every time, four seven. So lazima pia kuwe na kakitu guys lazima kuwe na kakitu kwenye unaenda ununua hiyo food from the agrovet and then pia unafanya farming unaenda unasiaga unamix hapo zinapata chakula na medication all the time 
Another thing guys is about the meditation. Mm. You and I, mm. <laughs> it's on a weekly basis. Mm-hmm. Or after two weeks. You realize what funny? Mm-hmm. These are my vaccinations. Because we're going to end up with the two of them. Big as what? Generation. So Kuna, the, the kon- cheaper one, mm. ile, ile, uh, yeah, free. Mm-hmm. Uh, free tu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And some people say that the issues in Meachu are uh, the free range ones. Mm-hmm. Normally, they don't produce, uh, ile, especially if you are rearing them for egg laying, they don't produce uh, too much uh, in, co- in terms of profit com- as compared to the enclosed one. The Have you heard about that? Uh, <laughs> I've heard about that, but because <laughs> I'm just a small-scale farmer, and I've found out just a few chicks, mm. cooler, not that mm. yes. So guys, uh, we are still here, we are just having a little bit of a story here, and uh, I've had my ob- ob- observations also, uh, because I've been going to different farms, and uh, uh, these are things I have noted, uh, especially if you are that person, uh, if you are that person who wants to start farming, number one, the type the type of structure that you are building to your uh, chickens, it's very very important. Yeah, especially if you are going for the enclosed where you keep them in a house and you feed them. So you know when you are doing this, you are going to be feeding these chickens uh, until they start to lay eggs. So you know at that point you really need some cash. Uh, to start with uh, this because you need food you need medication you need water also because you are you this uh, chicks you are rearing therefore uh, you want to make money uh, actually you want to make money and for you to make money they say you use money also to make money so the type of structure that you are going to build should be at uh, these are things I've noted, yeah, should be at least have a good air ratio, yeah, should not be some place that is clogged so much, that is dark, it should be a, a place that is uh, uh, well aerated, that the birds are able to breathe free air, you know, You're a place you allow the, where the air, the free air can be able to uh, flow over there easily so that is one thing that um, i noted actually from visiting some of these farms so that is number one thing that uh, anybody who wants to start uh, 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 chicken uh, rearing or the chicks you must take into control yeah so so kennedy has something else to add so let's listen to him yeah. <laughs> guys, uh, something else about uh, hmm. the small chicken, eh? yes. they have to, to be kept in a warm place. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm. So, kama mm. sisi huko kambani, what we do is that mm. lazima tutachukua maka, mm. unaweza chukua, unatengeneza, kuna mali huwa zinatengeneza, to something kidogo tu inatengeneza and then mm. utakuwa unaweka maka yako pekee na joto. Mm. Lazima zikuwe na mm. warm place mm. na lazima pia kukuwe na light. Mm. Mwanzo siku na pata kukuwe na light. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 So you have to keep them on packers in there, kukuwa, mm. kukuwa, kukuwa. Mm. So when they are young, you need to... Because mostly huwa wanasema, mm. kukuwa niyo baridi, mm. Most of the isoma going to the the chicken mm. zinakuwa zina zina like zinakuwa affected na hiyo bari hiyo bari so most we have to keep them in a in a, in a warm place mm. especially zenye zinaendelea kuwa tule tule mm. yes. and this is very serious because uh, nimeona these ones are things that can even lead to the death death or, uh, death of the chicks if you don't put it into consideration yes. Mm. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> it, 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 is a, it is a risky business. Uh, yeah, it is a risky <laughs> business. So you have to be. You have to all the time. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah, but it's a, yeah. it's a good one. So mm. after the vaccinations, we are on a weekly basis and stuff. Mm. It's a source of income. Actually. It's a source so of income. So you can make a little bit of money. So it's around four hundred and something. Yeah. Thing. Then yeah. just let's say, kila siku na pena to create more money. Mm. Like just getting it around five hundred on daily basis. Mm. That is a source of a very good source of income. Mm. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs>
So guys, another thing that uh, for you, uh, someone who wants to start uh, poultry farming that uh, I've also learned from the farms that have been visited is you need to put a lot of uh, study. Yeah, you need to put a lot of studying on... So you need to put a lot of study especially on uh, rearing chicks. Yeah. So you need to study a lot concerning vaccination, the food, the amount, you know, uh, amount of uh, carbohydrates that these chicks need, the protein, uh, all sorts of uh, the vitamins, you know, all sorts of nutrients that you get from the food. So you also need to do that thorough study. So you need to study about this so that you'll be able to actually formulate your own food. By this, will help you to reduce the cost actually that you'll be incurring for rearing this chick. So when you study well and uh, be able to understand this uh, nutritional value uh, for the chickens that you need, it will be it will be just fine. So that will help you uh, to reduce the cost of uh, the feed. You know, buying food is so expensive, uh, especially if you buy the food, all that. So you know, the other thing, you need a proper planning. Yeah, you need a proper planning for the business. Yeah, because they say if you don't plan, you plan to fail. So you need a proper planning on how you are going to rear these chickens on how you are going to get the feeds on how to on how you are going to rear them until they are they are at least uh, 15 to 18 to 20 weeks when they now start to lay some eggs and when they start laying eggs you know probably will be able to they will be able now to support themselves so before that you have to actually put down a proper planning for this so these are observations that I've made. I don't know whether I'm right, but I think I'm right. So these are observations I've made uh, going through this farm. So for you who is uh, willing to start this, these are things that you also need to put into consideration. Yeah. Question. Anyway, the other thing of, I've, I've also noted is uh, you need to source, you need the source of heat. Yes. You need you need the source of heat uh, for example some people use charcoal some people you can use electricity uh, but electricity sometimes is more expensive because those bulbs consumes a lot of energy so most people go for charcoal and uh, there are pots that are made in a way that uh, they are used to they are, they are used in the brooder uh, system so to help provide the heat for the chicks because if you don't do that they will actually die so uh, you can also do a lot of your research and uh, study to realize this and know what to put in place and what is good for you for your budget uh, according to your budget so that is one thing that you actually need to put so I would prefer charcoal because uh, with my little experience going to the farms, I've seen many farmers are using charcoal. I've seen many farmers using charcoal and uh, the, the main reason they tell me is that it's more cheap uh, compared to electricity. So if you are using charcoal, it's uh, more cheap, it's more affordable and uh, you can get it easily and uh, you don't need to incur a, uh, a lot of uh, losses from that so so, so that is called uh, those are called survival tactics yeah survival tactics actually <laughs> especially for the chicks when they are still very young yes. you need to put uh, you, the source of heat you like you said before so mm -hmm. most people have seen use charcoal and others have also seen use uh, the you know, uh, electricity now it depends with your pocket from there uh, for electricity is more expensive so if your pockets are well enough you can go for the bulb but you know they are they consume a lot of uh, energy and they have to run throughout the especially if it is night or during cold season they have to run throughout the day or throughout the night so you can see it's more expensive so that one is a cheaper option because you'll find that most of the farmers we have here in kenya yes. are small scale farmers yes. most, most of them are small so, scale farmers and uh, uh, considering the pockets yes uh, the charcoal way and now the is dollar is <laughs> so <laughs> at least <laughs> yeah, so those are a few observations also that i've, I've uh, made when we're going through this farm. Mm. Mm. And, and uh, I have a question. Huh? Mm. 
So how long does it take for for, for those chicks to 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 to, to grow? Mm. For them maybe sasa upeleke soko ama So it depends uh, it depends with two uh, you say it depends with the, if you are if you are rearing possible. chicks for eggs mm. or if you are rearing chicks for meat. Because mostly utapata kuna zile tunazita huku wa kienyeji na kuna improved kienyeji Now the, what I've learned from uh, the field going mm-hmm. to the field is that kuku wa kienyeji mm-hmm. uh, takes a lot of time to grow Mm-hmm. Yeah, they take a lot of time mm-hmm. but the improved one improved uh, kienyeji within around yeah. three months yeah, they say three months. within three months they are ready so are ready for, if you are you want to do broilers uh, for uh, the chickens for meat you will need your budget should be that that uh, it can run you for at least three months mm-hmm. uh, just feeding these uh, chicks mm-hmm. but if you are going for 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 the layers these ones for eggs the what I've learned uh, from the field is that they go you will have to feed them from uh, first week to at least 18 to uh, 18 to around to around 18 and 20 20th week so from there that's when they will start laying so uh, 20th week that's around uh, four ma- four five months mm-hmm. that you will feed them so you find uh, the layers mm-hmm. takes also uh, more time but you know when they start laying mm-hmm. uh, it's much uh, they will lay at least for the next two years. That's mm-hmm. also something I realized that when they start laying, it goes for the uh, next two years mm-hmm. laying. So, so that is a good source of income. Yeah, it's actually a good source of income for mm-hmm. two years. You know, mm-hmm. before even they you finish the that period of two years, you already put a lot. So, uh, so at least you just clear that lot. Yeah. So it's uh, also a good source of income. Mm. Yeah, guys. So those are the things that I've learned for traveling to different farms. I'm mm. not a farmer yet, but mm. I'm aspiring. I'm one person who is uh, so much enthusiastic about farming mm. activities mm. Uh, and uh, willing that sometimes, sometimes in future, I will mm. also be able to have my own farm and uh, doing some of these. Uh, uh, farming activities in my place. Mm. Yeah, so mm. I'm still studying uh, also from the field, going to the farms. You know, people normally tell you that uh, before you start uh, doing something, you have to visit the experts. Mm. Uh, well, now, when we leave that one that we are practicing from the books, you have to go to uh, those who are doing it now mm. in real. When you ground, eh? yeah, you end the ground. So what mm. I'm doing right now is visiting farms, mm. and these are just few observations that I've made mm. while going through these farms. Yeah. yeah, to go kwa mtu. So I want I want Eddie to tell us that kama hii maji yenye napita kwa mtu is it safe for, for those chicken to drink or okay. iko, iko na o, ni... What I was told that uh, mm-hmm. if you can comfortably you yourself if you can comfortably drink that water mm-hmm. from then, the river source. Yeah, then it is safe for even for the, the animals, chicken. Uh, uh, for the chicken mm-hmm. or even the animals that we have we rear at home. They need just the same treatment as you treat yourself. Mm-hmm. So that is what uh, I learned. Mm-hmm. So you must make sure you have a good source of, uh, of water that you are providing for this. They have to live just like the way you are living, drinking water and eating also well. Yeah, yeah, that water must be treated. Yeah. 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 I think we are should, going to do research yeah. about that. That's uh, why I, I'm talking about something that if it is safe for you to drink, to drink, yeah. Yeah, then it is also safe for your for <laughs> yeah, your animals. It is also safe for the animals. So yeah. that is something I've also learned from the fields. Yeah. Uh, so meaning that you have to treat it. If it is water, you have to treat it. If you cannot take this one from the river, mm. meaning it's not you feel it is it's not, not safe. It is not you. also safe. For, uh, uh, you uh, you, for you, for you can't also give it to your birds or mm-hmm. the animals that you have. So mm. you must ensure that it is safe first for you uh, before you give it to the to your chicks or your animals uh, back uh, in the farm. Mm. Yeah. Something so, I've learned also mm. among the animals we are at, at our homes. Yeah. Chicken is one of the most sensitive yeah. animal. Yeah, very, very sensitive. <laughs> yeah. Very, very sensitive. Mm. And uh, you must protect them also from uh, sickness. There are a lot of, that's why I was also talking about uh, you doing more research and studies mm. because there are a lot of sickness that are airborne. You may find the neighbors, there is an attack of a certain sickness from the neighbors. So if you are not aware and you don't know the control measures of such kind of condition, you may find them also in your, uh, after some time you may, and they are brought by wind. 
some of them are brought by wind and some of them are brought by humans uh, another thing also i learned that uh, i've learned from the farm that mm -hmm. uh, one thing that they normally put into consideration so much yes. is about uh, you as a human being uh -huh. getting contact with those hens uh, mm -hmm. those chicks uh, Chicken. the chickens mm -hmm. uh, because we carry a lot of um, uh, microbes uh, mm -hmm. bacteria a lot mm -hmm. so you must ensure that before you, you yourself get into the system, especially for the, in, the enclosed ones, before you get to where they are, you must uh, ensure that yourself is sterilized. Like you disinfect yourself, your shoes, nene. So some of them put a foot bath before just the entry of the poultry farm. So there is normally a foot bath where you dip your foot yes. is when you go in. So that yes. and uh, other farms you also find they have uh, gowns that you go and put on, the, you cannot go in, you cannot be allowed in without putting on those gowns. So you have to put on, those gowns are sterilized, you put them on, and again you have boots you wear when you are going to, to ensure that the biosecurity is uh, achieved. I also, have, I also have heard that we yeah. have uh, incubators. Yeah, yeah. Uh, incubators. <laughs> you know, we have different uh, forms of reproduction for this. Because uh, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's a business. It's a business. It's a business. So yeah, you want yeah. to, at least we have yeah. uh, yeah, different people, types of uh, some people who are There are some people who are now producing the chicks mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it so has cuckoo in reminded Adaga. me of something. Yes. Yeah, I, I learned that if you want to start especially the chicks, Yes. Uh, especially for the uh, egg laying chi uh, chickens yes uh, you must consider so much the source where you are getting your chicks from uh, because you can get a chicks from somewhere in a particular farm and the chicks are not producing after 18 weeks of feeding them you only find that uh, they they produce around uh, eight nini, 50 percent of eggs and you know you have been feeding them for this long and you have been so you must ensure the quality of the chick where you are getting the chicks are satisf satisfied you are you they, they they are they are reliable you can trust them and the quality of chicks are very very important that you must put into control so you don't just go anywhere and pick chicks for eggs and you bring them you may run at a loss also so mm -hmm. that's something also i i learned from there so for somebody who wants to rear the produce the chicks also, they also bring what is called the incubator, what you are talking about, to produce the chicks, uh, the quality, so they can also be supplying those chicks mm -hmm. uh, to their customers and uh, teaching them how to vaccinate mm -hmm. these whole processes. So, yeah. So Eddie, uh, chicken poultry, poultry farming seems, uh, seems interesting. Yeah, it seems uh, interesting. Uh, and also fun, yeah. <laughs> fun, fun also. It's kind of fun for me. Uh, it's a business uh, and also is a... Is a I, I'm not yet ready in the business, but uh, mm -hmm. after work, going through different farms, mm -hmm. I feel like it's. Uh, I'm getting more interested in it than uh, these other things. Mm -hmm. So I feel so much attracted to that. As mm -hmm. you know, I'm also a farm enthusiast. Now I feel uh, chicken farming is more, again, is more profitable. Uh, as compared to, especially for eggs, is more profitable. For how long have you been in Makwen so far? This is my second year. It's your second year? Uh -huh. And I've gone to very many farms uh -huh. <laughs> So among the farmers in Makwen, mm -hmm. uh, have you, like, around what percentage have you seen uh, people farming poultry out of 100 in Makwen? In Makwini? Mm, because mostly when I joke on Makwini, most of the farmers uh, do uh, veggies, also do uh, pixie, oranges, mangoes and stuff. For like, out of 100. I feel like, I, I come from Migori County, but I feel like Makwini County is different. Mm -hmm. mm, in that every, at least every home you go to, mm. they do. You'll have to find chicken. Yeah, they, you will have to find chicken. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly, they are doing them for business. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are doing them for business. Uh -huh. uh, not like in our place where you will find chickens, but uh, majority of the uh, people just are domestic. doing them for <laughs> domestic <laughs> consumption. Yes. Yeah, but in Makweni, it's mm -hmm. a bit different. Mm -hmm. You go to this home, like I visited it, the Ketrima farm. Mm -hmm. I visited. They rear chicks, mm -hmm. and they tend to do like uh, if they are they are doing farming. They are doing like 
there's uh, you will find some of them growing the veggies there yes. they have chickens there mm -hmm. they yes. have fish some of them have uh, they, they produce also milk yes yeah, yeah like they are doing them generally and mostly for uh, business mostly yes. for business that's what i've noted in uh, mcquilly county in my place uh -huh. uh, okay there are people who are also doing it uh, so you so, come from uh, which county i come from Miguel county uh -huh. but uh, there there are few i can say people people who are doing maybe even nini for uh, farming for business uh -huh. are few because you know in my as compared area, to Mago, as compared to Mago. Yeah, as compared to McQueen. Mm -hmm. so i think uh, we need a lot we need of, to wake up uh, we need to wake up uh, guys. we need a lot of education <laughs> there's money in farming <laughs> there's money in farming <laughs> yeah yes. there's money in farming because yes. And I think you don't have to start large. Ah. You can start maybe with two, three chicken. Uh, what, what, what most of the farmers have been telling me that if you are starting, mm -hmm. just start with what you have. Just start uh, with what I, you have. I, I met a farmer, Aliniambia mm -hmm. Alianza. She started with uh, 200. Mm -hmm. And um, now she is rearing over 3,000. So you just <laughs> don't have to compare yourself with someone ah, else. You don't need to compare. Farm. Just do your research, uh -huh. learn. What just you pick need what to is learn, right and, uh, and you start. Uh, you start mm. once you feel you are ready mm. you just start mm. i think yeah. that is a good that is a good uh, mm. yeah that is a good a uh, good a uh, good business yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really good i've uh, seen it and i'm still going to the farm so guys if you are new to the channel this channel is only educating you more on adventure and farming at large. adventure lifestyle, yeah. lifestyle farming yeah, yeah so this is the place to be if you are new please make sure that you subscribe watch the video till the end and uh, we'll meet also next time in the new next episode mm. thank you guys bye bye <laughs>